Hey, what is going on, MLB family? We're here today, and we want to talk about what happened this week and what you can plan on for the future as well. We like to make stubs around here, and I know basically all of you do as well. Now, there's always lots of ways of flipping the market, working the market, and doing all that, preparing for collections and and, di and different things, right? We we know that that's the thing, but sometimes they just present it for us they just make it easy for us now this isn't gonna happen every time you're not gonna be able to make tons of stubs every time but i want to show you how we made some pretty good stubs recently because well they let us basically so let's get into this and talk about it today okay um this is just about you guys right this is about preparing you guys uh, four stuff. So you remember when they dropped the armed forces pack the other day, uh, it gave you just a bunch of free, like diamond equipment or uniforms and all that. And it was free. And the pack was only in the store for like three days, right? Well, that's kind of perfect, right? We've mentioned in the past things within programs that we need to keep an eye on and take a look at. Now, second in program here doesn't really have a lot of that stuff. That's like, Ooh, oh, I want that. That could be valuable in the future. It doesn't really have any of that, okay? Maybe this bat, maybe the bat, but even then, eh, not so much. Uniforms aren't gonna hold a ton of value, generally, unless there happens to be some collection down the road, but because it's so specific to like the, the team, right? So they're dividing the number of people who would want it probably close to by 30, right? Unless it's maybe like the Red Sox or Yankees or something along those lines. Um, so those things don't help out normally, but when we get packs in the store now, of course they're not here anymore, uh, which will equate to giving us especially free stuff, not having to grind it over a, a four week period, just there, they're just there. Okay. Got it. Good. Now let's take a look when that stuff came out. Uh, I saw a lot of people selling it. Which is fine, which is fine. People need need stuff like this bat right here. Armed Forces Day bat skin. OK. Um, some people sold it for 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 some OK stubs. It was good for them. A lot of people didn't. Uh, a lot of people were selling it for a thousand. Not even quick selling it, just selling it for a thousand. Cool. Cool. I like that. Now, what you will see with bat skins and stuff like that generally is their prices won't change a ton we see here you could have been buying this for a thousand you could put a buy order in for a thousand just like this right um and someone will sell it to you i guarantee someone buys that one real quick <laughs> well you'll see it right they're gonna lose stubs we're not necessarily gonna make stubs either at this point because we see the price we know that the tax rate is 10 percent here so selling at 11 25 is basically the same as quick selling it. So if you're going to sell items like that, which can't go down in value, they cannot, they can't, it's not going to turn into a gold bat. Can't. don't do that. Don't do that. So here for, for the sake, I, I'm going to take this off. I don't want this. Um, but bat skins always be weary of. Okay. Now the glove, the batting glove. Oh, it's at 1450. And again, you could have been buying this at a thousand. So you could have made, I don't know, 250, 300 steps profit per glove you bought. I think you bought 10 gloves, you made 3,000 steps. 3,000 steps sounds okay, I guess. Um, and the gloves are going to have a little bit more value there. But there's a lot of diamond gloves. All right? There's a lot of that stuff out there. We didn't get any shoes. We didn't get catcher's mask. We didn't get chest protectors or leg guards or elbow guards or chin guards or even wrist guards or compression sleeves but we did get our batting grips right so what we will see here the jackie robinson one which you can earn right we have this one which is free and we have these two diamond ones and we notice that they're all exactly the same you can go buy this grip right here. This white one looks a little bit better. 7,300 stubs. Or this one is 8,800 stubs. 
or this one is 2000 but again let me bring this up i was buying these for 1000 stubs on the dot right and i'm gonna post up all the rest of these right now again they could go up a little bit more but again i'm happy with that so we see right here i'm selling at 1998 seller will receive 798 so every single one of these that i bought we got 798 stubs profit and we had about a hundred so we made about 80 000 stubs just because mlb put something out right just because they put something out again these will all sell i'm gonna hold on to one because uh, we, we still want to use it, right? It's still the cheapest bat grip out there. Uh, it just makes sense. And I've been slow playing selling ours here as well, because this price, the past day, 24, 36 hours has stayed really consistent right around 2000. And again, it's not going to go a ton higher simply because the volume supply and demand. There was a lot of these, obviously every single person who logged into the game they got it right so in essence here i saw this and i was like hmm and if you guys remember the video that we had when the content came out i was like hmm that's interesting why was it interesting well because of this again we were buying at a price point which means we could not lose stubs because i could just quick sell them all for a thousand the risk i took in here was zero and we made eighty thousand stubs in three days by doing nothing okay on that we also had the socks now i was big on the tattoo socks before too and again you could have got these for a thousand they're at 1967. these socks here as well right around 1900. it was a little bit higher earlier but it's still gonna come back down i didn't go in as hard on the socks i'll admit it i think i only bought about 20. give or take somewhere around 20. But that means we still made around 20,000 stubs. So we made 100,000 stubs just because of that. Now, they also put out a uniform, uh, which I don't think I have anymore in here. Because, it, you know, again, what do we mention about uniforms? They don't do a whole lot. We see this one is exactly the same price. Again, you're really limiting your audience. But if uniforms and stuff come out, if you want to grab them for quick sell value, you can maybe hold it, use it as a savings account or something like that, but don't expect flips there. So in the future, when things like this come out, just watch and see, right? What items are out there for free. If it is another bat skin, which is plus six plus six, which is the same they give us constantly. It's not going to have a ton of value. Now, some of these we've held on to. In hopes that maybe they do go up and if it doesn't i'll let you in on a secret i bought them all for a thousand so i'm losing zero stubs okay holding on to those batting gloves we've seen what those can do cleats cleats could have an impact on the market when we get some nice cleats they could these cleats are still around 10k for the most part the good ones and all that uh, to me, this is the best one. It's about 18k. Depends how good the cleat is. It could have value. So keep that. Keep your eye out on that. Whenever we get free packs as well. Not necessarily inning rewards or program rewards or something like that. Because again, that's such a slow, drawn out process of a thousand things, right? A uh, thousand days. And that's not a thousand days, but you know what I mean. Catcher's masks. They're all diamonds. Chest protectors. If we get a chest protector, that's the first diamond chest protector. Same thing with leg guard. The elbow guard would obviously have some value if we ever got one. Same thing with the shin guard. Again, there's not a lot of depth here for these. If we get a diamond compression sleeve, right? Same way that these socks, you can't, you can't pull diamond socks. <laughs> they don't exist. So it is what it is. So by going through and doing stuff like that, you are able to kind of not even assure yourself of making stubs. But anytime you can take an investment with zero risk, that's a great investment to make. Phenomenal investment. Now, sometimes you'll see players do it with uh, 
live series cards as well there is always a risk there because live series cards can go down in price but when we see um, not live series cards maybe a tops now card right so we see that this reese hoskins this jordan luplo the minimum they will quick sell for is five thousand stubs all these cards the minimum is five thousand you could risk a thousand stubs on these cards Is it worth it to put a thousand subs in to maybe make a couple thousand? If you remember when the monthly rewards came out, stuff went up. Now the golds aren't necessarily going to be dipping to those prices, nor the silvers. Again, silvers quick sell for a hundred, but there's always a risk there. The golds quick sell for a thousand. Again, there's a risk there, but the diamonds have much less risk, especially these recent ones here. Take a look at stuff like that. You will see that. And again, when we get to prospects here, You'll see a couple cards hanging right close to it, but not quite there. And again, the golds are all going to be way over a thousand. So there's more risk in holding the golds uh, than there are diamonds. Normally diamonds are going to be your best hold uh, for sure. Now you will run into certain cards as golds, like a Michael Young right here. Who again, you're risking a, a, th a hundred stubs, 200 stubs, a hundred stubs here. Diamonds here, not so much. Just keep stuff like this in mind, guys. Um, that's more important. Clemente, again, you're you're really risking nothing here uh, for him <laughs> at all. Uh, a couple hundred stubs on Lee Smith, stuff like that. Again, just just make sure you are looking at it properly right here. Uh, I don't think we have any candidates here for stuff really. Uh, the rookie cards, Klesko's rookie is kind of cheap. That's about it. Do we have that card? We do. Interesting. And we have this card. We have a lot of these expensive silvers. Um, but that's how I was able to make a lot of stubs really quickly by doing oh, basically nothing, right? Again, you can work the market and flip and sell hundreds and hundreds of cards. Or you can take advantage of things when we see it. Anytime you see a chance to risk nothing and gain something, it's a great chance to make. But Keep in mind, if I were to buy 10,000 Batskins or whatever it could have been, right? You got to sell them. <laughs> so if you're still getting them for minimum, go ham, right? Sell what you can profit out. And if you have a bunch left over, that's fine. And what I see a lot of times are people posting 100 or 200 or something at the same time. It really hampers them and locks them into place. Yeah, they don't have to worry about it and look back. But I'm okay with, I normally do 10 of something at a time, throw it up, come back an hour later. They're normally gone at that point. Uh, it just makes sense to do it that way. So that is the best way. So we'll see here, even completed orders. Look at this. Uh, we've sold, uh, we've only sold one this morning, but last night, a bunch of these were selling, right? Selling more of these, selling more of these, selling more of these. You can see the time frames and the differences on this stuff as we are selling stuff. So I hope this is helpful. This isn't a, Hey, you can make stubs right now. Um, there's probably some good ways and some flips and some markets, but, uh, this is more of a, Hey guys, look out for this stuff in the future. It's going to happen. Memorial day, father's day. They do stuff like this all the time. Just keep your eyes on it. All right. Either way. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully this can make you some stubs in the future. I'm not saying I'm going to make you a millionaire by doing this. But I'm saying you might be able to make 50 to 100K. Pretty, pretty standard a couple more times this year. So be great. Enjoy it. I love you all. I'm out. Peace.